Breaking news as we come on the air tonight. A man with Tampa ties killed six of his grandchildren and his daughter before taking his own life. The heart-wrenching scene still unfolding right now. We're taking action for you with team coverage on this tragic story. His name, Don Spirit, and we found out he is known to local authorities. But right now, investigators in Bell, Florida, a small town west of Gainesville, are going over the gruesome scene of six dead children and their mother, along with their alleged killer. Our Edward Lawrence joins us live with an update from the Gilcrest County Sheriff. And Edward, what have you learned tonight? And right now, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement investigators are combing through the scene, looking for clues as to the sequence of events that led up to this murder. And this all stemmed from a 911 call from the shooter. Now, the Gilchrist County Sheriff, Robert Schultz, says that Don Charles Spirit called 911 about 4 o'clock today. He told the operator he wanted to harm himself and others. The sheriff believes by that time, by the time deputies arrived here, Spirit had murdered his daughter, Sarah, and her six Greek her kids and his grandkids. The children ranged in age from three months to 10 years old. Deputies tried to talk Spirit out of the house, but he took his own life. The sheriff says this is not something his office normally comes across. Keep this community in their prayers. Um, tomorrow's gonna be a hard day for a lot of, a lot of children in Gilchrist County. And um, as I said before, we're resilient. And the sheriff says he has been out to that house before. These deputies have been out to that house before, but would not say exactly what the reason he went out there was. Investigators will be working throughout the night to try and figure out a cause or a motive for all of this. They still do not know why this grandfather murdered his daughter and the six grandkids. Reporting live in Bell, Edward Lawrence, ABC Action News. Thank you, Edward. And we're digging deeper now in a shocking discovery we're finding tonight. This is not the first time Don Spirit has allegedly killed one of his own family members. Our Andrew Dow joins us in the studio with more on his criminal past and ties to Tampa Bay. Andrew? Wendy, that shooting happened back in 2001. Don Spirit spent three years behind bars, but not for shooting his son, for being a convicted felon with a gun. In 2001, Spirit accidentally shot and killed his eight-year-old son, Kyle, during what he called a hunting accident. That happened in November 14th during a hunting trip to Keenansville. That's about an hour and southeast of Orlando. According to a 2003 article in the Orlando Sentinel, Spirit was walking through the woods with Kyle and his other son, Josh. He pointed out rust on the muzzle of his high-powered rifle and that rifle fired, hitting Kyle in the head. Spirit says he drove for miles with Kyle in the back of his truck looking for help. Spirit was charged for being a felon in possession of a firearm and went on to spend three years in jail. That felony stemming from a 1998 felony uh, possession of marijuana conviction. Now, but we dug deeper and found Spirit has several more charges on his record, including a handful in Hillsborough and Pinellas counties. A June 1995 charge in Hillsborough was for depriving a child of food or shelter. Live in the studio, Andrew Dowd, ABC Action News.